have the courage to do something badly. Welcome to McBain Moments. All right, before I get started, as always, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the manor. Make sure you take a moment and subscribe down below. We are on the road to 13 million subscribers, one subscription at a time, so make sure you subscribe. Also, if you like the work I do, please consider becoming a patron. Link is in the description. You can get a copy of my new ebook, The Modern Entropian, if you become one of my patrons. So, have the courage to do something badly. I was rolling around Twitter yesterday, and one of the content creators, because I, I follow a lot of content creators on Twitter, which makes a lot of sense because here I am making content, and she put up that she was dissatisfied with the way her day went. It was not quite as, uh, the, the stream wasn't as popular, things like that, and she had expressed a, a lack, um, a loss of confidence. And one of the things I said was, bad days are going to happen. That doesn't mean you're a bad streamer. Just means you had a bad day. And it got rolling around in my head. A lot of people who have a lot of potential don't even start because they're afraid of bad days. They're afraid that what they're going to produce is going to be bad. They're afraid that what they're going to put out there for the world to see might embarrass them. <clears throat> Newsflash. Your first video, your first piece of, your first poem, your first piece of art, it's going to be bad. That's the way it works. But you have to be bad before you can be good. There's an old saying, the difference between an apprentice and a master is that the master has failed more times than the apprentice has tried. And it might be one of the most important axioms I have ever seen or heard or read. The master has failed more times than the apprentice has even tried. That means the master had the courage to do badly to try and fail and try and fail and try again. Anything worth doing in your life is worth doing badly. Not because that's your aim, but because doing badly is how you figure out how to do it well. My first video is garbage. And I'm not talking about the WoW videos I did with my guild. Those were for us. Those weren't even meant for... They're available for public consumption, but they weren't meant for public consumption. They were really meant for us to review and watch and laugh at and figure out how to beat bosses. My first honest video for public consumption, it was an Entropia Universe video. If I can find the thing on my channel, I'm going to post a link in the description beneath the link to my Twitter and my Patreon and all the other stuff I put down there. It was bad, but I had to do that bad video, and I had to do the bad videos after it, and my audio wasn't great, and I didn't know what to talk about, I didn't know what I was doing, but that's okay. I haven't taken it down, because if you watch it, and if you watch the video since then, if you've been with me since the beginning, you've seen the progression. The only way I am able to make the content I make today is because I dared to make the content I make, made then. And in five years, I know my content is going to be a hell of a lot better than what I'm making now. Because I'm daring to do what I'm doing now. When I made my first McBain moment uh, 65, 70 videos ago, I had no clue what this was going to look like. I was, I was recording it on a cell phone. Hell, one of my good friends even called it a potato. The Google Pixel 2. But it had no audio quality. It had junk video quality. But that's okay. I dared to do it badly. Because I didn't know where I was going with it. And then... And then it started to get better. 
and you can do the same thing. Have the courage to do something badly. It's one of the things I hear a lot from potential content creators, that they don't know what they're going to do, they don't know what they would record or why they would do it. That doesn't matter either. Get on there and ramble for 15, 20 minutes. That's how you get a start. That builds the, that builds the muscle that you need to be a creator. I was talking with my student Kat yesterday and she asked me, do I ever burn out of creating content? And I told her, I get tired. There are days I don't want to turn the camera on, but I do it. And I do it because doing this is a muscle. Just like going to the gym. All the writing I do for McBainManner.com, that's a muscle. If you use the muscle, the muscle gets stronger. If you use the muscle when you're tired, it gets stronger yet. If you stop using the muscle, it atrophies. And atrophies quick. That's why going back to the gym after a vacation is so much harder than if you had just kept going. So in order to become a good creator, dare to be bad because that's how you build the muscle. I think that's probably the best allegory for it. What are you going to create with your life? This has been a McBain moment.